What the fuck is shaking, man? What's popping? What's going on? What's happening? This is your boy, J-Hood and all that. Now, I know you haven't heard from your man in a minute, but I am back. We got all type of shit to talk about. Wow, shit been going on within the industry, so you know we got to chop it up. Let's start with your man, Diddy. The diddler, nigga. Sean Baby Oil Combs, nigga. Sean Baby Oil Combs. Combs. I'm gonna repeat myself three times like Dr. Umar, nigga. I said, Sean, baby oil, combs. Your man, brother love, was out here fucking wild. Let's get two, to it. One. If you haven't been living under a rock, you know that this nigga's in the feds right now facing multiple charges, right? Now, just today, this nigga was hit with another lawsuit from a lady alleging that he sexually abused her, which resulted in her getting impregnated by him and this allegedly took place in 2020 and carried on for a significant amount of time she also alluded to him drugging her making her take certain drugs that caused her to black out and uh make her forget certain things you know, oh my god you feel what i'm saying she also stated that he used to call and harass her multiple times and she, he kept contact with her throughout all that time and all this other shit now look that shit crazy man a lot of people been hitting me up this week, right? Talking about, yo, like, yo, I wonder why the people within the industry don't seem as shocked as the consumers are about the information that's come out about Puff. Nigga, because it wasn't no secret to nobody in the industry, nigga. It ain't no secret to nobody except the consumers and, the, you know, the fans and the people that didn't really know this nigga. You know what I mean? Niggas in the game been knew that this nigga was on some weird shit. Niggas been knew about the type of parties that he was into, the type of funny shit that he liked doing, you know what I mean? Pause. And and all other shit. It ain't no surprise, man. You know what I mean? Like I've been new for the longest puff was on some shit. Like, you, like every time that I personally bumped into the nigga, you know, I, I could I could attest to some other type of shit going on. You feel me? The one specific time I told y'all guys that I performed with him. At the I Declare War Tour, like, before we even got on stage, I seen the nigga pop something. I don't know exactly what it was, because it happened so quick. And it's not uncommon for people within the industry to take drugs anyway, so it wasn't really a big deal. But I know the nigga used to pop E and do Molly and all that other type of shit. We on stage, the nigga eyes glossier than the motherfucking... The shit super glossy, you know what I mean? The nigga rolling like a motherfucker, licking his lips every four seconds. Like he LL or some shit, but that wasn't my business. And niggas wasn't really, you know, tripping off that. Because like I said, it wasn't no big deal. Everybody was on something, whether it was weed, coke, eat, or something. Niggas in the game do that. But the other shit that he was doing was the shit that get you caught up and it get you jammed up. And the shit that you deserve to get locked up for. People running around talking about, matter of fact, before I even go there, niggas sucking puff cock. Yo, man, niggas, yo, man, niggas trying to take down the black man. Y'all niggas just out here supporting him, helping them niggas take down the black man. Miss me with all that taking down the black man shit. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. Y'all niggas is fake pro-black when it's convenient, nigga. You feel me? Like, nigga, miss me with all of that bullshit, my man. You feel what I'm saying, nigga? If a nigga do dirt, you got to pay the consequences, nigga. I don't give a fuck if you purple, red, white, blue, yellow, or green, nigga. If you do the crime, you got to do the time, nigga. You feel me? So I don't want to hear all that shit. 